What's happening in the Orlando real estate market in June of 2022? I'm Richard Varner with Go Realty. My goal with these videos is to take the mountain of data that we get as realtors and package it up for you in an easy to follow, easy to understand format that will help you and your family make great real estate decisions. If you have any questions about what I'm covering here, please comment with that below. And if you like the video and you're getting value out of it, smash that like button for me. All right, here we go. Last month, I reported a typical seasonal 7% increase in inventory. Well, this month, we saw a 44% increase in inventory. That's not seasonal. It's clear that rising interest rates and fear of a recession are finally having an effect on demand. That being said, the pace of sales quickened again. The average days on market fell from 24 days down to 21 days. Combining the inventory level with the new pace of sales, we get a supply level of 0.98 months. That's 40% higher than last month. Now remember, a balanced market offers us five to six months of supply. So despite the huge increase, we're still very much in a seller's market. In a seller's market, prices rise. We set a new record high median home price of $379,950. Will this continue? Let's take a look. New listings went up by 10.7% last month, while new contracts changed by negative 7.9%. So way more homes were added than were taken off. So next month, I expect to see another huge increase in supply, taking us a little closer to a balanced market. Okay, here's the bottom line. Do I think a crash is coming? No. I believe we're heading towards a balanced, healthy market where buyers have options and prices stabilize. The crash in 07, 08 happened because the loans were bad. Not the case right now. Anyone able to earn a contract in the last several years had to do it with cash, a big down payment, or a really strong loan. Most homeowners have a good equity buffer and a really good interest rate. So I think we're in a good position heading into this correction. A correction that I think is good for everyone. Okay, that does it. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button and let me know what you think below. See you next time.